Genera greetings and welcome to Radical Relocation. Today's beverage is a nice cup of green tea. Very nice and healthy indeed. So Radical Relocation is an absurd physics-based puzzle game where you have to precariously stack items on the top of your vehicle and then traverse from point A to point B and hopefully not demolish everything in the process. It's a game I have featured and played and displayed on the channel in the past when it was in a demo form. However, this is now the full version and there's a lot more to see here so I thought I would show you a little bit of the game. For the sake of full disclosure, I have played around 45 minutes to an hour of this thing so a first impressions only but it's not that difficult to get into the game and understand what it's about anyway let's go over to play and I can show you that there are some uh, campaign modes for just, class, just levels here weekly challenges free roam and there's also a twitch um, play mode as well which obviously I haven't tried but anyway go over to levels you can see I've completed the first 11 levels of the 30 mission suburban campaign there's also island region which is where you get a boat so you've got some levels there as well and coming soon we have an arctic region which is all about helicopters which is is a lot more than I played in the demo. Anyway, over to mission number 12 here and we'll see if I can successfully complete this in one sitting or not. So as you can see, we have our vehicle and lots of items. The objective is to get all of these items shown on the top left. So a soccer goal, soccer ball, tennis racket, large couch, a bike and a surfboard. And we have to get that over to here. Now we are currently at this location, so it's going to be up and round, following this around and then perhaps that away. But we may come across some obstacles as we go on. Obviously you can see the game is very stylized, very cutesy, uh, limited colour palette but very nice indeed. Either way let's see what we can do. So for start vehicles this is our vehicle here and the advantage is it does have a like a truck bed in the back there. I think this is a, is this a ute? Uh, cars, it is a ute, yes. So there, it's pretty good indeed. You can switch over to your original sedan, which is what you start with, but also you can go to garage, and as you play the game, you unlock different parts. So you then, once you've got a full set of parts, you can then build a car. Like for example, I can build a van here, and there we go. So the van is, has got a much bigger footprint, so you can then say, place stuff on top of that, that didn't work. No. Uh, I'm going to go back over to cars and then to the ute there. They all have different statistics as well. So speed, acceleration, agility and weight. <laughs> um, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, that's a Model T type thing. And then we've got a forklift, which sounds really good, but it's also quite small. So we're going to stick, I think, with the ute like that. You can also get certain upgrades. So in this case, we've got 25% extra time. Uh, leave item behind a magnet, rope and a trailer. So we can put a trailer on the back there and that will give us obviously some more options for pulling things along which I think we may end up doing anyway large sofa where can we put this well obviously you pick it up grab it with your mouse and then sort of drag it around space will flip it over like so and a and D will rotate it as well I'm guessing just placing it on here would not work out hang on can I can I rotate it there and place it is it possible to rotate it further in a different orientation can I get it in there uh, rotate it, no, oh, it will fit in there, but no, that that's probably not going to work out. Okay, we'll, we'll leave that for the moment, because that's like a fairly big item that we may just stack on top. I'm going to place in the ball, the tennis racket, and I believe the surfboard might also fit in there. No, the surfboard will not fit in there, so that's probably going to have to go on top of the sofa like that. The bike will go probably in the back on its side, because that'll be an easier way for it to go this thing I'm going to have to try and balance so that it sort of falls on top and um, so what if we can just say uh, flip it over like that and can we make it like a cage over the top of the yes we can so we can cage the vehicle like that and then this thing will go absolutely nowhere uh, not technically it fits on there and then we can have a say a surfboard maybe underneath there and that is actually it so we'll click begin and we can start driving so let's just see how long it takes for everything to fall off obviously the objective is to get to uh, our final destination we have uh, I think it was 2 minutes 30 yet yeah, currently on 2 minutes 17 as shown on the top right near the mini map there so let's go ahead down this road and we'll see if we can manage this obviously there's certain obstacles in the way we have the sedan on the left hand side which obviously we are quite wide so we don't want to clip that we've also got a little bus stop on the right as well and we also have to contend with corners quite sharp corners here so I don't want to turn too hard and too fast because obviously that's just going to send all of these items absolutely everywhere now the 
also got different item properties as well. So, for example, obviously the gold post is made of metal, the bike's made of metal, etc. But they're not like items that can be broken. So you can actually get like vases and stuff like that, which are porcelain and will break um, if they're just knocked around in the back. You can see the ball that's um, just sort of going around in the back there. That's obviously a no, no. Um, danger of breaking or shattering however if you have glass items then you may get that so anyway getting a bit of speed up on this one we're going to check our map we can see we are headed towards uh, the right point past all of these houses and the farms it's quite uh, like i said a uh, simplistic but nice looking game and we also have now oh we have a car and it looks to be like a crossing here so we should hopefully be able to get past without any misfortune just try not to snap their wing mirror off yeah we've gone past there that's no problem and then we need to take the next left and then the ne next left after that and let's just see if we can get around this corner it's looking all right but i just want to take it a little bit slower there obviously you do have different objectives for time and such but we're currently on 45 seconds so we shouldn't have any great difficulty in getting to our objective which we can see is right at the front there let's just get a bit of speed on and that should be us completed there we go and we are right in the latter part of this i'm currently 1308th place not very good at all one star rating that is fine obviously i can retry it later on but uh, that'll do us for now so one mission completed let's see what the next one is going to give us an hour ah, we have it looks to be a couple of cardboard boxes we have uh, dumbbells two of uh, <laughs> a running machine uh, and i bet this sits right on the top there it, well, it, it probably will sit right on the top, but not with the way I've stacked it there. There you go, so we can actually get a ping pong table roof uh, if we really wanted to. So other options, I'm going to go for a magnet, and we can place a magnet on the back here if we really wanted to. So can I rotate that around? I can rotate that around. So maybe rotate it. I'll actually put it maybe on the... Oh, should we, can we put it on the back? If we put it on the back there, can you then attach... Yes, you can actually attach metal items to it. So let's go ahead and attach like the dumbbells to this thing. Um, I'm hoping that we can just sort of fit them on. Yes, there we go. It's because the magnet's holding them. Right, brilliant. This this is working. This is exactly what we wanted. And actually, that's better. I'm going to do the same to that one. So lift it up, uh, rotate it around. You can see it's now and again. There's a couple of issues there with it not really going in the right place. But yeah, that's also just dropped it. Uh, completely out the sky for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's not not wanting to go on this side. I don't know why. I will uh, put it there. No, it's it's not working at all. Why? Why will it not go? Okay, well at least that was in, so we'll we'll leave it like that. So I guess the the treadmill will have to go. If we do that, hang on. If we do that, it might drop down. Yes, that fits in very nice. This we can probably rotate around and place. In, oh, place it up there. That's all right as well, I think. The boxes, I may be able to get one in the front. Yes, uh, sorry, in the back, uh, front portion of the back bit there. A uh, bit complicated, but I think you get where I'm going with this one. That's just not sitting right at all. And no, we've got a bit of surfboard clipping. I have seen a couple of those issues in the past. Um, in fact, on one level, the physics really didn't uh, play well together and the all of the items were just sent all over the landscape at uh, Mach 3 and the uh, car was sort of spinning around mid-air, which was um, not good for a game that is obviously <laughs> uh, all based on physics and we can hear a train in the background there which is going to be a bit of an issue the sofa can go there and then I think that can wear down the front and I think we're about right so let's just click on our map here you can see we have to go uh, left right left follow the road and then around so let's do that let's click begin and we will go so we've got fields to our right hand side obviously the road is ah, coming up it's got a bit of a bit of a weave on here we should probably take the racing line but there you are and ah okay this is where we have a bit of a problem we should probably get onto the council about this because we've got these potholes there which uh, can knock you i'm going to go off road a little bit because quite frankly it's smoother than the actual roads which is exactly where we are actually live in real life but there you are okay straight down i think we can probably go for straight down and uh, and then go around yeah we're going to do that obviously there's multiple ways to go between different areas if you 
wish to um, try different bits out for higher ratings in terms of the star ratings and such so you can do that let me just go over to the right hand side take the racing line here and then it's weave through that oh I could probably have got through those trees actually a bit quicker there which is something you should probably look out for there's also I think hidden things on the map so I know there are certain uh, ramps that you can jump off why on earth you would want to attempt those with uh, <laughs> with stuff on the back of your car I do not know but there you are so we're coming up to a fairly I was gonna say a sharp corner but they're all they're all 90 degree corners here and the issue is we can see just ahead of those trees that is actually where we need to take all of these items but it's actually wanting us to go all the way around now I'm not going to do that I'm going to look for an area where I can get through the trees and I think just coming up ahead we do have one of those areas and oh there you go there's the train actually coming along um yes you can be hit by it no I'm not going to uh, try and demonstrate on this particular run because there we are we've actually been uh, yeah, we've done that all right so let's try the next level but this is basically the moment to moment of the game and I find it quite rewarding actually to get the items back in one piece perhaps that is uh, not that shouldn't be something I should be uh, <laughs> proud of but uh, yeah it's quite amusing nonetheless let me just rotate this around a little bit um, there's a cup there so the cup can break so we have to uh, be aware of that these we will place in the back there there's also a cactus and a table I'm thinking the table we can probably place on the front there which is fine we'll rotate this around and that can go on the top the cactus I mean we might be able to get in the back we can get in the back the problem is will it stay in the back the answer is probably not but our objective is quite a ways away okay um, we haven't actually got any upgrades let's go for rope and choose an item to rope down I'm gonna rope down the cactus of, <laughs> of all things and I like the way it's roped that down so that's pretty good so that sh now shouldn't actually be able to that shouldn't be able to fall off so that's pretty good so we may be able to get a bit of speed up on this one so let's uh, Let's see what we can do. So hopefully I'm going in the right direction, but I haven't really checked too much. There's a pothole, but we can uh, burn past that. Let me just uh, go around here. You can see I'm not really taking it too careful because we've got that uh, cactus rope down, so we should be all right. And this is actually really good, really good time in here. So we'll just keep going. And can we take a shortcut? I think we can take a shortcut, but do we want to take the shortcut? Yes, this is actually okay. Now uh, we'll take a hard right here and oh we've come across a fallen tree so this is something I didn't realize but that's not a problem we can swerve around that we do have a steering wheel and we can choose our own direction and continuing on past all of these and I think it's the next left it is the next left and oh 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 there we go and that should be about it there we go and we are quite close to um one of the lost times and yeah we'll just sort of crash into there and we've unlocked some more parts excellent okay so that was i think that said three stars but pretty good let's uh, see what we have next oh good grief all right also i've noticed the trees are getting more autumnal which is quite nice so we have a grand piano <laughs> a dog house a potted plant a single bed and a large sofa well this is not going to go overly well can this can this piano fit in there oh it can uh, I think the pedal box is gonna be snapped off at any moment but there you are uh, the kennel can go I know the kennel can go in the back there but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen what I'll do is get an upgrade for a trailer on this one and we'll place that in there this bed can go on the back like so no hang on that was almost in there let me try that once again and there we are that's no that's that's a little bit too precarious for my liking so is the better way we can do this um what if we rotate it round um yeah i mean that'll do right yeah oh maybe maybe a little bit further to the left to to balance that out okay this is actually making it much worse um yeah that's okay uh, the potted plant can go in there that's now a load bearing conifer and then I mean now it's just getting now it's getting beyond this silly uh, <laughs> so I mean that's that's what we've gone with do, do you think we'll be able to get anywhere with that I'm I'm not convinced but we will say begin we'll look on the map and we'll go down this and then take the next left although I don't think we're gonna I mean it's already gone wrong hasn't it let's be honest it's already gone completely wrong but we'll we'll do our best we have four minutes in order to to do this so I'm gonna head 
over here. Uh, I do like this sort of elevator mall music that we get. And we got oh, on the right hand side bakery, donuts, flowers, uh, caffin. Yeah. Um, so we take a take a right here. Hold on, I was tempted to go straight ahead, but no, we'll take a right. Next right and the next left. Come on. Ah, uh, no, the the, the, the doghouse was destroyed by a falling sofa. And that sentence never said, never been said before. Let's try Oh, good. So when I come back in, uh, it's actually it should put you back on to Ah, oh, this is a problem. Right, so what should happen is it loads back into your previous uh, settings and what you've set it up as, but you've noticed that it's all fallen off and we've actually been pushed to one side, so now the grid for rotation does not line up properly, so we're going to have to reset that, sadly. But there we are. Okay, um, am I still in the right orientation? I think I am. Um, what else could we get then? I mean, we could probably go for rope. I mean, could we fit it all onto that is the question, or do we want to instead try the van because that's got a bigger, a bigger surface area? Um, if the if we can, if we can get the piano legs to straddle the roof, then that would work out. But it's not working out actually. Mm. Right, that 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 wouldn't work. Uh, <laughs> rotate it to there maybe. No. Oh, actually, we'd probably use the wing mirrors as like load as like um. No, there's a bungee point, but that's also not going to happen. I can actually see the Model T Ford being quite useful here because that the roof would fit right in there. Let me check the garage out then, and what else have we got? A golf cart. Really? Do we really want to use a golf cart? Um, I mean, forklift? Build the forklift? Let's try that. We'll try the forklift, and we place this on the roof like so, and that's exactly what I was after. I will put a trailer on the back because naturally we have to put say the bed on I mean bed's probably gonna go no 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 careful now careful now rotate that round actually you know what let's rotate this round like that and then hopefully ah no All right so we might have a bit of luck yes with the pedals going in between the front and back that is exactly what we wanted the sofa will have to go almost certainly on the top here um, but if we place the bed on first, that way, that will sit quite nicely. Um, I think the music sheet hold is just interfering with the placement of that. There we are. The bed, sorry, the sofa will then go like so, but I think that's a little bit further back. Yeah, it's going to fall that way. Um, what if I rotate it round? Can we fit any other way? It's just on. That's okay. Um, dog kennel can go there. Like so. And then the potted plant. I can place... Um, yeah, this is the problem. No, that's not going to go there. And what I'm tempted to do, actually, is place the potted plant on the top. No. Come on. There we go. Right. P potted plant is now sort of hang on will that go there oh even better that means then we'll get rid of the trailer upgrade and in this sense we'll go for rope oh you can only rope something that's directly on the vehicle oh i was going to try and cheat it a little bit and rope right on the top uh well i guess i'll rope the piano and then i mean i mean what's the worst that can happen right so i mean i'll be honest it's slightly it's slightly laden towards the back, and we do get a bit of... I mean, we're almost doing... We're almost uh, able to do a... I mean, if I stop, we can do an endo, and if I go forward quick, we can do an ollie, I think. Not an ollie. <laughs> we're doing skateboard tricks in this thing now. Uh, that's Tim's convenience. I think we're on to two wheels for a moment there. Toy store, furniture. Cheesecake. All these nice little stores who are almost certainly going to go out of business as a dog kennel smashes through the front window for the third time this evening. But there you are. So continuing on. I think I will go straight on this time. 
and we'll take a gentle left. Careful not to snag part of it on that tree. Take another left here. And this is where we binned it last time. I mean, it's quite tall, isn't it? That's that's the main issue that we face. That it's uh yeah, I may say quite tall as a vehicle. I think I likened this to last time anyway on the last video. What happens when the council kick out that really rough family down the road and they don't want to pay for it or can't pay for a removal service and just have to fling a rented sofa on the top of the Peugeot 206. Uh, let's see if we can go around here. And getting there. Yep, yeah, how long have we got? One minute left. We should be alright. Oh, hang on. Bit of a clearance issue on that tree, but we just managed to get past it. I'm not I'm not attempting any world speed records in this. You may have figured that one out by now. Not in just time, but also for the for the speed of this vehicle. Genuinely didn't think we'd make this one, but everything seems to be stable. I thought, if nothing else, that potted plant would have rolled out by now. But there we are. We've managed to get there, and we're a thousand and first, and we now have more parts unlocked. And then next. So yeah, there you go. That is a little bit of radical relocation, and we now have... Oh, that actually looks to be a fairly easy one, although I'm sure I'll regret saying that. I think that's going to be a ute job with the trailer. Because, I mean, we just put that in the back there. Box there. Should we just do it? Might as well do it. Give it a go. Like that. Stack the boxes. Alternating ways so we get a nice little cross section there. Um, a potted plant. Oh, dear. Uh, let's rotate that round. That can go in the side. Not going the side. It looks like it would go in the side. We would have to think, shift this along a bit. Oh, hang on. That's that's all kinds of wrong. So move that along a little bit. Like that, yes. This one goes in like so. Potted plant. Place it further towards the back and use these handles to guard it. And there we go. Begin! And... Ah, okay. Next left. Let's see how, how quick we can turn here. Oh, not very much at all. So apparently... Whoa! See that? <laughs> so I've kicked the back up. Yeah, apparently that, um, that that base there, I thought the root base with all the soil and stuff and the heavy pot would keep that from going over, but it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to have that. Hmm. Okay, maybe a bit more difficult than I previously thought, but ah, and then we get uh, it all kinds of breaking, so we'd have to... Yeah, we're probably going to have to reset that, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> Just reset it. Anyway, like I said, that is a bit of radical relocation. We're going to go back to the main menu there. So, overall, um, it's pretty much like the demo I played a couple of months ago, but with loads more stuff, and that's fine. I said at the start, uh, I said previously on that uh, other video that I just like the bombastic nature and the silliness of it. It is completely absurd, but utterly <laughs> it's utterly charming and fun, basically. And that's what we've got here. It is just a daft mess around where you have to stack things on top of the vehicle, and I really find it very relaxing as a experience. It's, yes, it, you know, when things fall off, it's, like, you know, annoying at times, but just the absurdity of it all is, uh, is very, very good, very, very amusing. Um, I'm only halfway through the the uh, suburban region, then I've also got the, the island region and the Arctic one coming soon. So there's a lot in there. Obviously, you've also got your weekly challenges, as well as free roam, and the Twitch settings, I think, is for... Um, you can hand over the control to Twitch viewers, which I've not actually tried. But either way, that is a bit of radical relocation, as I said. Very fun, very charming, and um, ultimately <laughs> completely nutly silly. But um, if that's what you're looking for, then by all means, check the link out in the description. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.